Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today in this video we're going to talk about how much money I've made through YouTube. Um, Happy New Year. So we're, we're just into January now, so I thought it's a good time to take a look back through uh, the last year and years that have gone by and just be as open and transparent and show you what it's like running a small YouTube channel. I have currently about 12 and a bit thousand subscribers. Um, I'll show you how much money I've earned from videos, what the top performing videos have been, or how little money I've earned from videos, and just talk a bit about the background of running this small channel. So it's an aquarium adventures channel, it's uh, uh, documenting my hobby in fish keeping. So let's dive into the analytics. So here is my YouTube studio page. Um, it's just this is what anybody that will have a YouTube channel will have something like this. It'll show you your last video. So as you can see, we did a live stream. Uh, on New Year's Day, I think it was, and I talked a little bit about it here, but I thought it'd be a fun video to make. There's lots of people make videos about how much I earned last year on YouTube. Uh, they're normally humble brags, or they seem to be humble brags, so I'm going to show you the other side of the coin, the humble not brag, the humble disappointment. Um, but let's uh, take a look in here. You've got your channel analytics tells you how many subscribers you've got, so 12,426 at the time of recording. Um, how many views you've had in the last 28 days? So I've had 27,000 views, 2.1 thousand hours of watch time, and that's an estimated revenue of £167.13. Uh, that's what I've made in December, really, so the last 28 days. Not earth-shattering by any means. Um, <laughs> again, in here, this is generally where you run your channel from, where you'll see things. So this is my last few videos. Um, it'll tell me how many views I've got, how many comments I've got, all that, all that good stuff. Um, you'll hear your copyright claims. I've got quite a few of these. This is a thing that happens more and more these days. Um, so, a piece of advice. Don't use any of these non-copyright music services that you, they're free because eventually they get claimed by someone. Uh, and you lose all your money. So, let's take a look back at the early days. So, my channel started, I think it was 2014. I think I've got that back here. And the channel started as me documenting my aquarium hobby. So a lot of channels start that way. Um, but I've got my fish keeping hobby, I've got my YouTubing hobby. They're both hobbies. And that's the only reason I've stuck at it this long is because they're both hobbies. If you think about it, um, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't a way for me or most people to make money. Um, it's It's really just... I enjoy making videos, I enjoy doing it. If I didn't enjoy it, I'd be in a lot of trouble, and we'll come to that later. But in 2014, as you can see, I started on the 15th of September, um, and through there, I made no money. I made 10 subscribers, but I only had a couple of videos. Um, again, it was how I made my fish food, how I did um, filtration, things like that, some stuff on some fish that I kept, at this point, I wasn't really thinking about anything that YouTube could make money. I, mean, I still don't really think of it in that terms. Um, but in those days, it was just documenting my fish. So as you can see, some of the videos here were me feeding my fish. And it's just so as I could go back and check six months later to see if they'd grown or changed colour or something like that. So 1.8 thousand views. Um, down here, you can see the top videos in that period because that were the only videos um, and how many views they got. It is what it is. If we go on to 2015, you see this is at the point where I started to make money. Um, estimated revenue of seven pounds. This is because they, this was before they changed the way you could earn money. So now you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time in a year. Um, I think I sneaked in just before that, if I remember rightly. But again, you can see here not much was going on. I got over 50 subscribers. Um, 15,000 views, 400 hours of watch time. 2016, more of the same, got over a 100 subscribers at that point. So again, not much money going on in there. 2017, so 1st of January to the 31st of December 2017. Um, a couple of spikes in here. I thought one of them was about bio home media, a type of filter media. Um, how to make things, Merry Christmas, oh, there you go, there's me thanking you for a thousand subs, so I think it was December 2017 is when I got over the thousand subs line. 
So a lot of people who make this type of video, they're like, well, I started back in March and by June I had 10,000 subscribers. That was not the case for me. <laughs> um, 2018 was the first time that I started to think, God, there's, there's more people than people I know watching my videos. What's going on here? Um, so you can see 200,000 views, um, 15,000 hours of watch time got 3.4 thousand subscribers in that period so this was the first time I thought I'm still not making any money so 300 pounds for the year it's not a lot but I was more interested in the community side of things at this point because there was people viewing my videos who I didn't know from all over the world and they would leave comments and I could chat back to them about certain comments um, but as you see down here the, the top performing videos for that year um, 7,000, 11,000, 20,000, these, these are rookie numbers compared to the, the big players in my field. Uh, I'm not even in the same division, never mind the same league. Um, then we get on to 2019. The numbers are still going up, so that's a good thing, I suppose. Um, 378,000, 24,000 hours watch time, 500 quid. So we're, we're moving in the right direction. Um, if we go on to 2020, so this is last year. Um, no, it's now 2022, so it's the year before last year. If we go back to there, half a million views. That was ridiculous. Um, I think this was the period where I went over a million views total, and I just that blew my mind. Uh, 37,000 hours of watch time, 3,500 subscribers gained. Twelve hundred pounds, so but that's not insignificant at this point. Um, still, it's not mega bank or anything like that, but you know, it's, every little helps. This keeps my fish fed and lets me buy all the things I need to buy. And then we look finally at last year. The views actually drop, so go down to four hundred and forty thousand views and um, thirty-five thousand hours. Only 2.2 thousand subscribers gained, so, and all in all, a bad year. The money went up, the revenue raised, that's good. So, £1,990, so just shy of £2,000 earned last year, which is great, uh, and I'm not ungrateful. So, I'm now doing YouTube as a hobby as well as fish keeping, and it's earning me some money, which is helping me pay for things like this microphone, like the camera I'm using to record, the lights that I've got on, they all cost money. But at this point, this is my 400th video that I've released, and each video, if I generally say an average, might take five hours. So it'll take a couple hours to record, it'll take a couple more hours to edit, and then upload and make thumbnails and do all the things that I have to do. So that's, if that's 400 videos, that's 2,000 hours where I've earned 2,000 pounds. So it's not really, it's not really paying back yet, but. That's fine because this is just the hobby where I get to, to show what's going on in my fish keeping hobby. So hopefully it will grow, but I just wanted to show you what was going on. So if we took, take another look at, for instance, this is the analytics for last year. Keep rem have to keep remembering to say last year. Um, we've got my RPM and my CPM. So this is cost per meal and revenue per meal. So per meal is per thousand views. Um, these numbers change video to video, month to month, they're all over the place. If I look at my lifetime, I think I can do that. Um, so there's the lifetimes, £2 and £5.76. But if I look at last year, it's 4 and 7 So this CPM is what YouTube gets per thousand views, and RPM is basically my cut of that. Um, but it also includes things like channel memberships, super chats, anything along those lines that gets put together and that's what I get per thousand views. Um, down here you can see my top earning videos of last year uh, was this one, Freshwater Aquarium Sump, that earned me £122.90. Um, uh, when you get a video that hits, not that this is a hit by uh, traditional terms, that is worth it because that's a video that if that took me five hours to make and it cost me it gained me 120 pounds that's not a bad return i could live with that but that's the best the the average is a lot less than this um but again we're not doing it for the money i just thought it'd be 
interesting to show you all how little I'm making. Um, hopefully you all click that subscribe button at some point and we'll, we'll boost those numbers for next year when we do this video next year. But if I look at the lifetime, this is my only video that's ever gone over 100,000 views. Um, it earns me £205. Um, again, not bad, because if that took me a couple hours to make and I get 200 quid from it over three years, whatever it might be. Um, because if we go back to... Um, so this is last year, 2021. The top videos in 2021 were often made in 2020, or 2018, or 2019. So I just, I think I just had a bad year this year. So even though I earned a little bit more money... Um, I was relying on videos from previous periods to make the grade, if you like. So, I hope you found that interesting. Um, if it helps anyone, fine. If it doesn't help, don't care. <laughs> I thought that if you've got a small YouTube channel like me, you can use that to compare against and see how you're doing. Quite often when I see these videos pop up this time of year, it's all about channels that are rocketing, that are on the rise, they're doing really well, and to compare against that, it's really depressing. So hopefully I can make a few people feel better than they compare against me and going, oh, I'm actually doing quite well. Hopefully next year's video will be a little bit different. But this isn't the only way you can monetize or earn revenue through YouTube. Obviously, I have a website, aquariumadventures.co.uk, where you can buy merch, you can buy fish food, you can do all those kind of things. I get to use my YouTube channel as a little bit of free advertising, if you like, towards those goals. I have weekly live streams where we'll have a quite a good community that join me on my Discord server, but we get to a weekly live stream, we have a bit of a chat, have a bit of a laugh. Every now and again, people make um, super chats, super stickers, all those kind of things, which all goes to help pay for all these things. Um, there are sponsorships. I don't have any sponsors, so I'd be happy to talk to you about them if I did have any, but every now and again, I'll get some free equipment to review or to test out or something like that but a lot of youtubers will get sponsorships i'm just not big enough for that kind of thing yet so that doesn't really apply to me but generally sponsorships come with contractual things like nda so you can't really talk about them i have been offered a couple of sort of sponsorships but haven't taken them up because they haven't been right for me and um, you know the kind of thing where they, they tell you you have to say this or you can't say that and i'm really not that desperate for the money that I'm willing to sign away with my integrity like that. So we'll see if something comes up where we, I find a supplier or a sponsor that I'm happy to work with, then I'll tell you about that if I'm allowed to. Um, but that's generally it. It's, it's basically a time vacuum and a money hole in my YouTube career so far. But I still quite enjoy doing it. I enjoy the filmmaking aspects of it, the editing, uh, putting it all together. So it's not a waste. Like I say, it is a hobby. Most hobbies just cost money. This does give me a little bit of money back, even though I spend a lot on equipment and things like that. I'm probably still, still just in the black. Um, so I hope you found that useful. If you haven't already, it would be useful if you give me a like and a subscribe and click all the things that you can click. But until then, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.